Hello, my friends. Thank you for joining me today at the Punlo Coffee Table. I hope uh, you are enjoying this Christmas season. I know I am. It's the best time of the year. I, I truly love the Christmas season. You know, we have all these traditions and we have gatherings of family and friends. It's just a beautiful time of the year. And I, I love to go see the lights and the decorations. But I think too often we get too wrapped up in all of that stuff and we forget there's a reason for the season. And that reason is Jesus. The birth of Jesus, in fact, that's what we're celebrating at Christmas. But as Christians, we have a lot of traditions and the Bible tells us about the nativity and the star and the wise men. And then our extra biblical traditions are things like the Christmas tree and Santa Claus and December 25th. Christmas was actually just the Christ mass. And I think it's important for us to just take a quick look today. Why do we celebrate the birth of Jesus on December 25th? You know, I don't want to be a spoiler, but December 25th is not the birth of Jesus. At least we don't believe it is. You know, I don't want to be a bummer about it, but Instead, I think December 25th is important because it is Christmas. It's the Christ Mass. That's where the word Christmas comes from. And it was traditionally held around the winter equinox in Europe. The next obvious question is, you know, how did we get December 25th as the birth of Jesus? Well, I don't really know exactly, but Remember, Jesus was probably not born on December 25th. In fact, the Bible gives us some indications it was probably summertime. But Emperor Constantine formally had the church in Rome start celebrating the Christ Mass on December 25th back in 336 AD. Now, after Emperor Constantine, Constantine had a divine conversion during a battle. He converted Christianity, and he assumed the role as the first pope. Most people in the Roman Empire celebrated a winter, a winter solstice celebration. So Constantine thought, well, he could shift the focus from that pagan celebration of the solstice to worship of his newfound faith in Jesus. You know, the remembrance of the birth of Jesus. Even though we don't know exactly when it was, we can celebrate it and remember it at the Christ Mass. And in one divine decree from Constantine, the focus of the season became Jesus. Boom. You know, throughout the, the known world. So when was Jesus born? You know, I know you're going to ask that question. And the bottom line is we're not sure. It's very doubtful it was December 25th. And in fact, the Christmas story itself gives us some hints. In the Gospel of Luke, Luke gives an account of the birth of Jesus in chapter 2, verses 1 to 7. And then after Jesus is born, Luke says this, Now there were in the same country, shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you, You will find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. So it was when the angels had gone away from them and went into heaven that the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. 
And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the sayings which was told them concerning this child. And all those who heard it marveled, those things that were told by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told to them. So, shepherds in the fields. Well, if you're keeping your sheep in the fields, it's probably the warmer time of the year. The shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night is a key to us knowing what time of the year it is. You know, I've seen that most historians and Bible scholars seem to point to the birth of Jesus being sometime in the month of June or July. So probably not December because the weather would have been cold and the shepherds would most likely have had their sheep in a shelter somewhere. So what year was Jesus born? Well, we don't know. I know there's a lot of speculation and there's a lot of theories about this. And I've heard as early as 8 BC to as late as 8 AD. But we have no way of knowing for certain because the Bible doesn't tell us. I personally think the evidence shows sometime between 3 and 5 BC, but it's only speculation on my part. And I, I don't want to get into this any more than what I've just said. It's really not important to our story. What is important is Jesus came to earth. He was born of a virgin, Mary, in Bethlehem. He fulfilled every prophecy about the birth of the Messiah. Jesus is the reason for this season. And it's not important which day or year he was born. What is important is he was born. (laughs) He came and he was born and died for us. And December 25th is Christmas, the Christ Mass. It's a special time of year where we set aside to remember the birth of Jesus. This is the beginning of the greatest story that was ever told. And this is the story of my King and my Lord, Jesus. We should uh, remember Jesus every day every day of the year, but Christians don't always do that. But Christmas gives us a chance to refocus. Christmas is a time when people who are not Christians are more open to the story of Jesus. You know, who he was, why he came, why is it so important to everyone? And Jesus is the reason for the season and remind everyone that you meet that's it. Don't don't say happy holidays. Say Merry Christmas. Help help the world to remember Christ and what this wonderful holiday really is all about. Let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for Christmas. Thank you for the way you've orchestrated history in a way that we could celebrate you and remember you. It comes at the perfect time of year where we are preparing for a new year, and we should be focused on you. That's how to start the new year the best, focused on you, a Savior, our Lord, you know, Jesus Christ. Help us do that, Lord. Help us to stay focused on you no matter what the world sends at us, all the confusion and chaos of this season. Help us to stay focused on you. And I ask this in your name, Jesus, Lord. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me for one of the Christmas story outtakes. It doesn't really matter what day Jesus was actually born, and we'll never know. Well, at least not until we get to heaven. The importance is that we focus on the purpose of this wonderful holiday, which is to remember the birth of Jesus, remember what he came to do for us. The reason for the season is Jesus scream that to the world you know, as we gather with friends and family remember Jesus the amazing true story of Christmas the one that the Bible actually tells us share the true Christmas story with anyone and everyone that will listen Christ is born 
Merry Christmas. Hallelujah. So, as always, you know, I, I appreciate you listening to these messages and spending time with me. And if you liked it, press like. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. You can hit the notification bell and then be notified when we put up new content. I've really enjoyed putting together these messages for Christmas. And if you have any comments for me, leave them here on our website or you can email me directly. It should be on the screen. I just love Christmas. I love my Lord. Uh, we have so many things to be thankful for. And that's the purpose of this season, remembering what Jesus came to do for us so we can be thankful for what we have. So until next time around the Punlo coffee table, Merry Christmas, everyone.